Hey guys, so today we're going to be making butter beer, and I do not, alright, this is like, alright, I do not drink alcohol. So this is perfect, this is great for kids, this is a non-alcoholic beverage, even though it has butter beer in the title. Root beer doesn't, doesn't have beer in it. In the movies, butterbeer is considered an alcoholic drink because it only it has a very minimal amount, but it's enough to make those stubby little elves high enough to break a chair. This is a non-alcoholic beverage, so the ingredients you will need are da 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 da. And before I go into the ingredients, actually, I do not have some of the ingredients, so I have found. A way to substitute them. I will mention both ways, and all I'm going to say is, and I will mention this again when I'm showing you the ingredients, the two ingredients that I do not have are cream soda and rum extract. So to substitute them, you can use vanilla, pure vanilla extract, and just regular root beer instead of cream soda. If you do have rum extract and cream soda, just add those in when we add these. So, say we're coming to the point where we need rum extract, I'm going to use vanilla extract. If you have rum extract, just use it instead. Understand? Good. Now the ingredient. A cup of water. A cup of packed brown sugar. Unsalted butter. Salt. Root beer or cream soda. Vanilla extract or rum extract. This is one of the other ingredients that I don't have. It calls for cream. So I'm replacing that with pie filling. Perfectly okay. And last but not least, apple cider vinegar. Now it doesn't tell you exactly which type of vinegar to use, but I'm just going to use this. Now you're going to need a saucepan. Set it to medium. Add your water. And your brown sugar. Take your spatula. Rubber spatulas work better with this because this is going to be like a caramelized. Okay guys, so I just paused the video to let my stuff sit, and I just realized you only need two tablespoons of water, not a cup. So we're going to go in there and pull some stuff out real quick. So there we go, and now I'm just going to add a little, just a little bit more of brown sugar since I kind of pulled some of it. I'm adding this clump, let it sit, stirring the spatula. Now you can't see it. But it's definitely in there. It's like a darkish brown color, this new entire pan. Which is why you can't see it. Break this clump up. It is starting to melt into a caramel. Now don't worry guys, if like alright, one time I boiled sugar, plain sugar. Of course, it's stuck to the spoon, the pan. The minute that cools down, the minute you start getting it wet when you're washing your dishes, is it starts to go away because it's sugar. Sugar and water, it's just how it works. Alright, guys, you just want to bring this to a boil, and now I'm just going to move it over, stir it once, and we're going to make a heavy cream actually while I was waiting for this. I started looking up how to make a heavy cream. It's a very simple actually. So we're just going to make our heavy cream. You will be able to make your heavy cream. Trust me, you, I'm guaranteeing that you have these ingredients. So any cup, I just have a fourth of stick of butter. As you can tell, it's definitely a fourth or actually a third. And we're just going to pop it into the microwave for 15 to 20 seconds. Basically the amount of time it takes for it to melt. It's melted, so now I have three-fourths a cup of milk. Now that I've added my milk, I'm just going to stir it for three minutes or so. And there you have it. You have your cream. Now, not all of you might not have forks. I'm not trying to be offensive or something. You might not have forks, right? Use your finger if you have to. Maybe you don't have forks because the dishes haven't been done yet. I use four popsicle stick. You know those little like 
devil shaped steaks that come in your like ham and cheese deli sandwiches use one of those to stir it if you have to chopsticks fork spoon knife finger popsicle sticks anything let it simmer and now we're going to add in the next ingredient we're going to need a fourth a cup of our heavy cream that we made onto our butter you're going to open it up and you're going to wonder how much there's no real measurement so knife and just follow what i do Right, so you're gonna start your knife right here and just go one, two, three, four, five, six centimeters down and slice right about there. All right, then you're gonna go one, these have to be like two inches apart one or two, two, three, four, five. Six. You should have six on here. This is now what you are going to throw into there. Now just throw it into a pan here. And let that a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I should like to say teaspoon, guys, with the apple cider vinegar. And now a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna stir it until everything is melted and mixed, so basically the butter and stuff. So mine is on, so now I take it off the heat, slide it over, let it sit until it's room temperature. Now guys, you do not absolutely have to let it sit until room temperature. I kind of let mine cool. I've never, I've had butter beer once from Universal Studios and that's it. So now you need a fourth of a cup of your mixture into these depending on how many you want. So do that. And then you're going to add your cream soda or root beer. There's a specific amount that most people feel comfortable with adding. That's like three-fourths, one-fourth of a cup. You can add that. I'm just randomly adding. Now here's where I'm adding a drop of my vanilla extract. Only because it's vanilla, not rum, so I didn't add it in the heat. And there it is. Some people pop them in the freezer at Universal. You can get them cold. Or frozen. I'm keeping mine hot because that's how they drink it in the movies. Because they're in Scotland, it is freezing there. Thanks for watching.